soy Javier Mota y bueno, ya vimos ahí lo que es los mejores autos en el 2013 con el reporte especial de Consumer Reports. Y bueno, alguno de esos, alguno de esos autos, de los mejores autos, las mejores tecnologías, lo que ayuda es el sistema de tracción en las cuatro ruedas y para eso nos fuimos esta semana hasta, hasta el norte de la península de Michigan con unas cinco horas al norte de Detroit para probar la nueva tecnología que tiene Ford que está aplicando en todos sus vehículos y que para sorpresa de muchas personas no solamente estos autos se están haciendo populares en estados donde hay mucha nieve, el invierno es muy inclemente pero también digamos en estados donde eh, simplemente esta tecnología ayuda a manejar mejor, ayuda a la, la seguridad de los ocupantes en el auto. Así que vamos a Detroit, eh, a estas pruebas de manejo que hicimos en la nieve en el Centro Smithers en Raco, Michigan. So Michael, thank you for having us here. Uh, we're about what? Five hours north of Detroit? We are five hours north of Detroit. That's in, driving. In the UP of Michigan. At a winter testing facility uh, in the UP of Michigan here. Excellent. And uh, the purpose of coming all, all the way here, we're surrounded by snow. Everywhere we see is white, <laughs> except where you see the cars parked here. Uh, I still, to try the new um, all-wheel drive system, you know, in different four models, right? Yeah, so we have a great opportunity here, uh, just outside Sault Ste. Marie, where they have 136 inches of, uh, of snow on the ground, where we can take a look at four technologies for both cars, crossovers and SUVs and have really a fun day and a safe day to push the limits of what the all-wheel drive technologies and what Ford offers in the realm of all-wheel drive, torque vectoring control, and other technologies that really give us the edge uh, versus competition and give us the ability to have unsurpassed leadership in all-wheel drive vehicles. Yeah, so a couple of interesting things um, from your presentation this morning. One, um, all-wheel drive is not necessarily exclusive for this kind of weather. It can also work in any kind of weather, like in Miami, I saw your, uh, your cells have increased tremendously there. Um, so it improves the, the safety and the performance of the car, no matter the weather conditions, right? That's the great thing about all-wheel drive is it's not just for winter conditions. It's really for conditions that give the driver the confidence and uh, the convenience of knowing that the torque can be moved from either left to right or from front to back. And it gives you a solid feel of the road regardless of conditions, snow, sand, uh, summer or winter. And all type Heavy of rain in Miami. Heavy rain in Miami. And, and Miami's a great story in itself. In South Florida, we've had some tremendous growth uh, of the all-wheel drive systems. And yeah. it's really because of uh, the, the all-new fusion and being able to couple that EcoBoost engine with the all-wheel drive that allows our customers to have that confidence, regardless if they're on the toll road or on I-95. And here we are with the Fusion you mentioned, the Escape and the Explorer, right? But uh, the all-wheel drive systems is offering other vehicles in Ford. So we offer all-wheel drive on our Ford Fusion, on our Flex, on our Escape, Edge, Explorer, and Expedition. So really, most of our SUVs and CUVs, along with the all-new Ford Fusion, uh, that have the all-wheel drive capabilities. Yeah, a lot of work, 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 work goes into this, right? Like a lot of uh, your engineering team and uh, designing team and all that, or like the finance team, because you have to make money out of it. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Me, right? So a lot of work put into this, and it's a work in progress. I mean, you never stop uh, developing the, the, the systems that you have to make them better. So over the last few years, Ford's seen a great growth in all-wheel drive. For the vehicles that could be equipped with all-wheel drive, we actually have 37% of them that are out on the roads today. And a key of that uh, great success at Ford is that we were able to put the technologies and improve the technologies like torque vectoring control, which moves your torque from left to right, and all-wheel drive, which moves torque left to right and front to back. We're able to put them into the, the new vehicles and the global platforms, and they be able to either hold the price or actually lower the price for the customer. So at the end of the day, they get better technology for the same or even a lower price point than they did years ago. Yeah, with more, more safety too, right? Because this actually definitely helps with that. Um, and we, you were talking about the price range, so how much is the option for the all-wheel drive? I guess it varies in different models, but um, can you give us an idea? So? Yeah, sure thing, it varies on, on the different models, but 
uh, you can pick up an all-wheel drive for a Ford product anywhere from about $1,700 to just around $2,000. Uh, and in some cases, uh, most people will think that it will uh, go against the um, efficiency of, of, of the MPG, mm -hmm. but at the end, you have a better driving experience, more performance, more safety, so it's, it's a good balance, I think. Yeah, actually, the all-wheel drive it, itself uh, takes the fuel economy usually one or two MPGs, depending on your driving yes. characteristics, and as we've been able to see today, it truly gives you a better, confident, calm feeling out on the road because you're able to move that torque to where yeah. your vehicle needs it and it can adapt quicker to its environment. So uh, all-wheel drive is a great opportunity for customers that want to have that protection, that safety, for really a low price point and not and minimal trade-off on fuel economy. Yeah, and the new technology is not just like sending torsion from, from back to the front and back and vice versa. It really is an intelligent system that thinks like or makes adjustments like milliseconds it, it does it in a 60 60 times in the blink of a oh and the blink of an eye or a snap of a finger and it can actually predict what you're going to be doing if you're moving too fast if you're heading into a curve quite frankly too hot or too strong it will help the engine and the brake along with the torque keep you in control of your vehicle so it can actually react and also be a predictive model which is what's great really what gives us our technology advantage excellent well thank you very much again for having us here we're going to go back again and drive a little bit more and uh have fun with it and then learn more about your fabulous technology from ford hey appreciate the day thank Thanks. you mike bueno, ese fue Michael Murphy, el responsable de mercadeo de global para, bueno, el mercadeo de vehículos globales de la Ford, eh, de crossovers específicamente, eh, explicándonos toda la, la información eh, referente a cómo la Ford está uh, vendiendo con mucho éxito todos estos autos que tienen ahora la tecnología inteligente eh, de tracción en las cuatro ruedas. La segunda parte de estas entrevistas es con el experto, con Ashok Rodríguez. Y bueno, ahora van a escuchar la explicación también de su nombre, que a mí me pareció eh, que suena como un artista. <risa> Podría ser un cantante eh, de rap en español, yo creo, pero bueno, se van a sorprender un poco con sus respuestas. Y vamos entonces ahora con la segunda entrevista, gracias a Cafa, DJ Cafa y en los controles, que nos va a poner la segunda entrevista que hicimos esta semana allá en Raco, Michigan. So here we are, uh... And another interview with um, at the event with Ford, and we were at Shug Rodriguez, which, uh, by the way, you have to explain your name to me, because to me, it sounds like a rock star. You should be singing, like, rock and roll in Spanish or something like that. <laughs> and also, it's, uh, yeah, my, my name's a bit of a mix. My, uh, my, my dad's from India, my mom's Polish, uh, so I've got... Uh, uh, an Indian first name. My last name's Portuguese, but uh, I'm not, so a bit of a mix. <laughs> a bit of a mix, but uh, he actually is a rock star in the engineering world with Ford, and he's uh, one of the people working uh, who work, who is always working, I guess, right, in the development of new technologies for the cars. And in this case, the all-wheel drive system for the several of the new Ford models. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's a fun job, and that I get to uh, to play with the all-wheel drive systems in a number of different environments, uh, such as the uh, the winter stuff that we're here to look at today. Yeah. So we already talked to Mike a little bit about the marketing side of it, like the models that are available. But I want to get into a little bit if you can explain to our audience why it's important to have all-wheel drive in a car. Well, all-wheel drive gives us a, a couple different benefits. The one that people traditionally look at is the, um, the, the traction, the uh, you know, make sure I don't get stuck if I've got really bad conditions type of approach. And the systems excel at that. They, they work very well, transferring power um, between the front and the rear wheels to make sure that you've always got great traction on whatever surface you're on. They also work with the, uh, the, the brake system in order to transfer torque side to side so that even if you've got uh, traction at just a single wheel, you can still get out of the situation. But the, uh, the thing that's uh, uh, becoming increasingly important is handling. And uh, even for markets that never see a, a flake of snow, uh, we, we see that people want all-wheel drive vehicles increasingly. And that's because all-wheel drive improves the handling of the vehicle by transferring power uh, to uh, not just the front wheels or not just the rear wheels, but to all the wheels to, to optimize the handling for... Uh, and at different times and different force at, at each wheel, actually, right? Right, exactly. The uh, all-wheel drive system, uh, for example, on the Fusion, is going to be able to send uh, torque to the rear wheels uh, in conditions where you want to have a more spirited driving type uh, feel. The brake system is acting in tandem with that to be able to, uh, to, to send torque right and left. 
So yeah, we basically can optimize the torque of any individual given wheel. Yeah, and uh, these systems are very different from all their uh, all-wheel drive system or yeah, four by four, whatever you want to call them, where the torsion was only sent back and forward, back to the uh, and to the front and from to the back. This is completely different. This is like a huge, if you want to say it in some way, symbol. It's like a huge computer thinking for you every millisecond, basically. Right, yeah, a traditional four-wheel drive system that you might see in, in uh, uh, some pickup trucks, especially some of the, uh, the older ones, uh, is that it's what we call a part-time system. There's nothing wrong with a part-time system. It's just a, a simple lock or unlock system. So if you want two-wheel drive, you're in two-wheel drive. If you want four-wheel drive, it rigidly locks the front and rear wheels together. That means that it's really only intended for surfaces that are snow-covered or off-road or something like that. But these new sophisticated... Get you out of some exactly, problem. Exactly, right. It's, it's there for, for, um, for winter traction, off-road traction, it helps for stability, but it's just a lock or unlock. It, it doesn't do anything else. Okay. Whereas these new systems are, are very sophisticated with the algorithms, algorithms that they've got, and they're constantly biasing torque uh, as a result of a number of different inputs. Probably the most powerful there is that it's actually looking at where that vehicle's going versus where the driver is uh, intending it to go based on their yeah. steering wheel angle, steering wheel position. And it's able to adjust the torque front to rear in order to, to help the vehicle in that situation. So also in simpler words, it makes a bad driver like me much better. <laughs> It, it helps any driver, whether it's a novice driver who uh, you know, just wants to get from point A to point B, or someone who, who wants to enjoy their vehicle on uh, you know, even on dry pavement yeah. uh, to, to get a, a more engaging driving experience. So, Excellent. So. We're going to go uh, keep enjoying here driving on the snow with uh, with the Chocolate Rodriguez and the rest of the 14. Thank you very much for having us here, Roger. Thank you. And think about that rock career. <laughs>